it is time for some uh, repairs and uh, I think they will be paid in beer like last time when I did the brakes on this uh, car it's uh, my mother-in-law's car and she visited us and she complained that it didn't drive properly uh, like you put it in drive and nothing really happens you have to to really step on the throttle and uh, I checked there was almost no oil in the gearbox and um, the reason is that uh, the two lines that goes from the gearbox to the cooler here in the front they are uh, rusted out uh, the car is from 2008 so it has seen a couple of winters and we use a lot of salt on the roads and that um, tends to ruin stuff so uh, I got new lines for it uh, I will empty the old oil and uh, change those lines put some new oil in it and hopefully there was no additional damage done to it running it so low on oil so um, I think I will just have it will work after that I hope so at least I don't know how much oil is in this oil pan here we'll see yeah so this oil is um, it's just regular ATF Dextron 3 the you know the red kind it's not very red now There is a special tool for these connectors, but I don't have it. Let's use the pulley grip there. So it's probably not the best picture here because you know it's dark underneath the car and it's light outside but we'll see maybe I can use this maybe not so the way to get these off is just to twist it I don't want to mix these up. Therefore, I take the new part. Which is slightly less rusted. And uh, 
just connect the hose that I just removed to it. Oh. I should have gotten these new also, but I forgot about them. A little bit of luck, it will be leak free. Oh, hopefully it will be all right. When you buy new stuff to whatever project you have, like in this case, changing these pipes, they were leaking from here. Um, get new hardware, like new washers and um, new screw. These are new. Uh, it's it's not that big of a price difference usually and it's uh, it's much more professional to do it that way I realized that the container I was going to use was a 5 liter container and I need uh, f about 4 liters so I changed. Oh, look at that. This funnel is great. So, 4 liter it is. 4.2 or 3 or something like that. I'll just add this and then Start it, check the level, make sure it's not leaking. Gearbox works fine, but there is some noise coming from the rear end of the car, and I think it uh, has to do with the anti roll bar. Probably not the roll bar itself, but you know, some bushing or support bar or something like that. They tend to rust off. Test drive was uh, okay. It shifts the way it should. It uh, when you put it in drive and reverse, it uh, pull strong. There is some noise from the rear of the car, 
I thought it was uh, like a sway bar link or something, but this one, they don't have that sway bar kind. It's like a torsion rear axle type. So uh, I think you need to have it on a lift to really see what's going on. And yeah, uh, I don't think it's crucial. So um, I'm gonna hand this back to my mother-in-law and she'll be really happy. So uh, that was my paycheck for the work that I did. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye.